Hi, in this lesson we will be seeing the overview of Oracle Lib Business Suite file system. First we will be seeing the basic terminology of the Business Suite file system. Then we will be seeing the basic layout of the Oracle Lib Business Suite file system. The first important term is context name. So this context name is nothing but SID underscore host name. For example, if the SID of the database is prod and the host name of your eBusiness Suite node is apps. So the context name will be prod underscore apps. This is very important because several of the files and directories in Oracle eBusiness Suite file system use the same naming convention. For example, there is a file called context file which is nothing but a collection of several configuration settings in eBusiness Suite and the name of it is also in the same format that is SID underscore host name or context name dot XML. So it is very important that you remember the term context name whenever I use the term context name or whenever you hear the word context name you need to relate it to the SID underscore host name. The next important thing is the environment file. Usually if you are an Oracle DBA to set the environment you will be exporting several variables. For example export Oracle underscore home, export Oracle underscore SID. These are the general environment variables which you will be exporting while you are administering Oracle database. But in Oracle Business Suite along with the installation they have already provided an env file and when you run the env file it will be automatically exporting all these environment variables. And there is one env file in the database tier and one env file in the application tier. Now let us have a brief look at the layout of the file system. As you know already that Oracle Ebene Suite contains the database tier and also the application tier. If you are using the same node to install both database and the application tier, then that means that you will be logging into the same machine to administer both database tier file system and application tier file system. But if you are using multiple nodes, for example I am using one node for running my database tier and one node for running my application tier that means to manage the database tier you will be logging into the first node that is database node and to manage the application tier file system you will be logging into the application tier node. Now on the database tier it is very similar to what you would have been already seen in a normal, normal project of database. You will be seeing two important directories one is db home and data and data top. DB home is nothing but the oracle home where you have the oracle binaries which is nothing but your oracle underscore home and data top is nothing but the directory where you have all the physical files of your database. For example the data files and read log files and control files. And remember that the directory structure need not be exactly the same as you are seeing here. For example your DB home can be in U01 while your data top can be in U02 or even for example in ASM. So there is no defined structure that is mandatory in database tier file system. When it comes to the application tier file system, there is something called a base directory where you install the entire file system of the application tier. So in the base directory, you will be having three important directories and files. One is FS1 which stands for file system 1, one is FS2 which is file system 2 and ebsapps.env. The ebs.apps env is nothing but an environment file to set the environment. So when you run ebs.apps.env it will be setting the environment to administer or navigate through the file system. So what are two, these two directories fs1 and fs2? fs1 and fs2 are nothing but the eBusiness Suite file system directories. In Oracle eBusiness Suite release 12.2 Oracle introduced something called dual file system. So what does it mean exactly? The users at any point of time connect to only one of these FS1 and FS2. So for example let's assume that the users when are trying to connect the application to file system there is something called a run file system. Let's assume FS1 is the run file system and the responsibility of this FS1 file system is to ensure that all the user requests are handled by this file system. This FS2 is mainly used for maintenance. What does it mean? Usually when you are doing any maintenance activity on Oracle database for example, you usually shut down the services. 
But in application tire with this new feature, what you can do is you can apply all the patches of application tire on the, on the patch file system while the users are connected to the run file system. This way, all the maintenance activities do not impact the live operations. So what you do basically during patching activity is you'll be applying all the required patches on FS2 that is patch file system and then you simply flip the file system from FS1 to FS2. So when you flip the file system, the, the FS2 will become the run file system and FS1 will become the patch file system. The major advantage of it is, let's say for example you are applying let's say 15-20 patches as part of a quarterly update and this 15 patches take let's say 24 hours of time. So all these 24 hours usually if the, you have only one file system then you have to shut down the services and then you have to apply the patches. Now since we have two file systems which is called the dual file system, you will be applying all the patches on the patch file system first. And what you have to do is to only flip the file system which will require 15 minutes of downtime. Which means you are reducing the downtime of 24 hours to 15 minutes. This is how Oracle has addressed the downtime issue which was there in the previous versions and from 12.2 we have the dual file system. Now, Usually when you are trying to administer the database or application tire, you need to log in as OS user. And the OS user will be usually different for both application and database tires. For example, for database tire it can be Oracle and for application tire you need to log in as APL MGR. Or Aura prod can be the user for database and APL prod can be the user for application tire. But if you are using vision demo installation, then usually Oracle by default provides only one user called Oracle for both the file system. And when you are managing or administering database, you will be setting the environment of database and while you are managing the application, you will be setting the environment of application. But in real time, you would not find generally only one user for managing both the file systems. In most cases, you will be, you have, you'll be seeing multiple nodes of EVs in a suite, which means Oracle user, for example, will be the user for database node and APPLMGR user will be there for the application node. Both database and application tire, as I explained before, has one env file to set the environment. Database tire is a very simple architecture where you will see one oracle home and one data top. And application tire has dual file system. In the next lessons, we will see in detail about application tire file system, what are the important files and directories. Similarly, for database also, we will be seeing in detail the directory structure.